the UK National Self-Build and Renovation Centre is a one-stop shop for couples or even groups of people planning to build or renovate their own homes. It's a permanent exhibition space that illustrates every stage of acquiring land, designing a home and construction. It also demonstrates the techniques of renovating an existing house and bringing it up to date with the latest energy saving features. The emphasis is on individuals taking the responsibility for building or renovating into their own hands. Full-size homes are examples of just what can be achieved by self-builders. We've got uh, uh, about 15 to 20,000 people that subscribe to us every year looking for land. Uh, we deal with somewhere in the order of about 3,000 self-build and renovation mortgages each year. Uh, and would you believe that just about 20,000 people uh, a year in the UK choose to self-build and renovate their own properties? So it's really quite a sizable market. Visitors start with the basics, such as foundations and drains. Every aspect of preparing to build is shown and explained. The mysteries of septic tanks and floating raft floors are revealed. And the message throughout is that, complex as it may seem, it's not beyond the average person to master the techniques. Everything from double brick walling to insulation to exterior cladding is covered, with experts on hand to help when required. A personal radio guide talks the customer through each section, explaining the different building methods. We have here, as you can fast section three, we can go to three. And welcome to the first of our six education zones, which is about construction plant and site organisation. We recommend that you have a good walk through to get some useful ideas as an efficient, well-run building. In this country, self-build uh, and serious renovation, uh, which involves planning consents, uh, accounts for somewhere in the order of about 10 to 12 percent of the new housing supply uh, into, uh, into the market. In uh, Northern Europe, in uh, North America, in Australasia, you've got figures much closer to 50 percent for self-build. So there is an enormous uh, growth potential uh, in, this, in this country. The real difficulty that we have is the availability of suitable land for self-building uh, and this is something, this is the next project that BuildStore are now working on. For visitors there are daily lectures on how to find suitable plots for building and how to raise the all-important finance. The centre markets special self-build mortgages that feature staged payments during the construction process. Approved building suppliers rent space within the centre, displaying the latest technology. But for those interested in reducing their carbon footprint, alternative materials and methods are also covered. Chris Brookman specialises in unusual bricks. These are a, a, a very southwestern technique used in the UK, but it's actually used all the way along the south of England. Uh, it's clay and straw so, and dried in the sun, so extremely low embodied energy. Uh, mainly used for conservation work, for repairing and restoring uh, all the old buildings along, along the countryside. Uh, and these are unfired bricks which go in combination with those blocks, um, normally to, to course around lintels and things like that. So they, they work well in combination with each other. This is a, a block made of aerated clay. Uh, it is fired, but uh, fired at a very low temperature, so very low embodied energy. And that is your wall. That's a solid wall construction, monolithic it's called. Um, very airtight, very incredibly simple and incredibly fast. Fantastic product. These are a mixture of uh, waste uh, plasterboard, which has been recycled. Uh, in England you can't put plasterboard into landfill anymore because it it's, uh, upsets the groundwater and so the company mixed clay with the plasterboard and extrudes it out and it's dried by um, taking the heat out of, a, out of a brick kiln, the waste heat, and forms these absolutely fantastic blocks. Also on display, natural insulation in the form of sheep's wool. It's four times more expensive than conventional glass fibre bats, but better for the environment. The building centre's experts say that given the chance to design and build their own homes, most people opt for bigger and more luxurious houses than they could otherwise afford. They also tend to build in the latest energy-saving technologies, such as solar water heating and double or even triple glazing. At the end of the process, the new owners can usually count on a home valued at some 30% above the building cost.